Hello, my fellow Call of Duty players. Or really, anyone who's watching this video today. What's up? Um, domination on Nuketown. Using theater mode like always. So much easier. If you've never made a video before, just think about it. Sitting there and recording, like, you know, hours to get a few good games, or maybe you just do good consecutively, but sitting there for hours recording to get good games, hoping your game's going to be good so you can upload it. Compared to, I have a good game. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna record it. So much easier. Uh, G11 with no attachments in my sidearm. I think I have a tomahawk there. I can't see my screen's kind of little. And my uh, secondary is a China Lake. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be pretty good in this game. 62 and 12 is not, it's not shabby. It's not too bad. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just, I guess, hiding or something from someone. Yeah, all I've played really is Domination. That's like the main game I play. So for a little while, you won't really see anything but, but I will upload some other stuff. I'll get some other games in there. Other game types, somehow. But, yeah, the G11 with no attachments, I think, is the best way to use the G11. At least on a map like this, that's so small. Because, you know, you can't use it. You can use a scope on this map, but it's a lot harder. Because it's tiny. It's much, much easier just to aim down an iron sight. Or a red dot or something. But, yeah. I'd, cl I'd say this gun right here is all guns in one. Like, all types of guns in one, basically. It's really, really good. It, it snipes. It's like an assault rifle. At close range, it can kill you in like a three-round burst easy without even aiming. You know, it's just like a shotgun, assault rifle, sniper rifle, and one. In the China Lake, of course. Always fun to use. I got my helicopter. Dead. I was playing a wager match mode last night and I decided hey I'm gonna go be a pro gambler the first one I came in third place so I was like okay made a profit of 2,000 the next one it was a sharpshooter yeah and I came in last place I turned to turn my PlayStation off after that it was done because losing $10,000 sucks I was doing it because if you think about it if you get enough money then uh, you go to wager match another pro gambler, and the top rewards is like thirty thousand, you know. And we need fifty thousand for the prestige leaderboards. And I was like, you know what? I just might unlock those. There's something I could do. And then I lost all my money, so I was like, oh well, I'm turning this off now. Fuck this shit. Um, kill streaks, mortar strike, not mortar strike, napalm strike. Helicopter and chopper gunner. I don't know what camo I have on there, but it looks pretty alright. And am I rocking last stand? Yes, I am. Last stand pro is pretty sweet. Especially, but um, if you didn't know this, when you go to last stand, if you have any attachments, any uh, attachments on your guns on your sidearm, they go away. And so you're putting, a, like, let's say you had dual wielding, it goes away. With that one that is a fully automatic upgrade, has a fully automatic upgrade, it goes away. So, it makes it really fair. You can't, like, dual wield like you could in last stand with Modern Warfare 2. I'd have to say my favorite perk pro though would be hardened pro because it gives you that you know you flinch less when you're shot which is amazing 
Like, you just get more kills that way. Because you know, especially if you're using a sniper rifle or something, you know you're aiming, and you go to shoot, and they shoot you, and your gun goes up because they shot you. Well, this way it doesn't go up as much, so you still have a better chance of killing them. Go myself, go. Murder. See, I was on top of it this game. I was there. was told uh, probably it might be true might not be true I don't know but I was told that they nerfed the since they nerfed the sniper rifle so much in this game just to stop quick scoping I heard that they're gonna like change them back kind of to where it was like in Call of Duty 4 apparently and that'd be kind of cool because then you could actually do something with the sniper rifle because even when you play it with a sniper rifle on this type of game, you have to be able to get 20 kills in a round, basically, just like you can with an assault rifle. Or else you're not making as much XP and it's going to take you a lot longer to level up. And no one wants to do that. And so it has to be balanced enough where you can still get a good amount of kills with it. Direct impact. Well, I'll admit that was really lucky of me to get that direct impact on him. Flash defecation. We got another helicopter. Still don't know how. I, don't, I still don't think you can show like the little map where I dropped the helicopter, which I think is kind of dumb. It should always show that. It's part of the game, so. I don't know. Still like theater mode. Everything has its cons. Pros and cons. Just looking for those extra kills. This is very smart of me. I turn around and I'm like, hey, let me die real quick. And then watch this. I'm such a genius. I just run like, doo doo doo. Ah. Uh, but I got a triple kill, so it's all good. I think I did it. Oh well, if I didn't. I'm just trying to rush to see how many kills I can get. My record, I have a game where I have 63 kills. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.